Welcome to Spiritual Psychic with Sarah Wiseman, where you'll learn how to unlock the secrets of spiritual intuition and your own psychic gifts. Here's Sarah. Having compassion for our parents. You're listening to Spiritual Psychic with Sarah Wiseman. Having compassion for our parents. So it's kind of crazy in Western society, and by this I, I, I'm really probably talking more about American society. It's really common to turn away from our parents in our teens and then to move away or, or live away from our parents in our 20s and our 30s. And not everyone does this. They're certainly the boomerang generation. But it's a common path. It's this kind of ritual. It's a kind of rite of passage. Certainly, depending on how old you are, if you're 40 or 50 and, or 60 or 70 or 80 listening to this, you definitely were sort of expected to be out of the house by 17 or 18 on your own, making your own way, working, living, living somewhere else but at home. Um, and you were expected, this was the time that you became an adult. Um, and to, to separate from the family, to separate from the parents, and to go out into the world to seek your own way. And of course, you know, this idea of separating is really useful. We seek to find ourselves outside of our ancestry and our lineage, all the cultural ideas and uh, belief systems and so forth that, that have been applied to us. We get to sort of walk beyond those. And of course, it's incredibly useful. However, when we continue to distance ourselves from our parents past a certain age, without doing the work of healing whatever it is that needs to be healed between us, this can stunt or stop our growth. At some point in our lives, we need to come to peace with our feelings about our family of origin. Now, especially, again, if you're in this older range, there there comes a time around your 40s when you just need to just let it all go. You just need to realize that you have separated from your parents, that you are a full adult, and maybe you have children of your own, and you've realized the task is not as simple uh, as, <laughs> as you were led to believe it would be. And you can decide, you, you get to a point where you have to decide to heal from past angers and past hurts. And of course, you, you may need to separate fully if there was uh, abuse. But you may need to step, take steps to come closer together. And each situation is different and each decision is individual. But the thing is to understand that our family members are souls just like we are. And certainly from this place of compassion, we can see that these souls have struggles and deep needs met or unmet just like we do. And it's tempting and it, it's probable when you're in your 20s or 30s that, that you need to get away. You need to have this, create this own identity for yourself. And it's, it's tempting to play the victim and say, I can't be with them. You know, they were so awful. Or, or I must rebel. And it's tempting to play the victim or the rebel or to run away from our childhoods. But that doesn't bring us to greater understanding. It's when we fully work through our family issues that we become 
adults. And again, around 40 is around when this starts to become very apparent uh, that we are put in families with these particular souls for the express purpose of working on our karmic lessons with these particular souls. We're not here at random. Uh, the mother you have, the father you have, the siblings you have, none of it's random. These are the master teachers given to you to help you work through some really rough stuff. Most families have really rough stuff. Recall that we're here for soul growth and there's a time for separating and stepping out on our own in early adulthood and there's a time later in which we come back and we heal and we learn and we integrate all of our understanding with compassion for all of those in this family soul circle with us. You're listening to Sarah Wiseman, and I am at sarahwiseman.com. <laughs>